Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey. We're back with our old friend, Brendan Grunewald, who's living in Belgium and today can go for a beer out of lockdown. Hi, Brendan. Hey, Peter. Nice to speak to you again. Movely Media has long been one of our favorites. Uh, you and I met at PDAC 2020 when we stress tested your software and it passed with flying colors. Since then, your technology has just blown up. You've expanded in so many areas. Uh, you've incorporated Google and Instagram and Excel and MailChimp all in APIs into your software. Your focus on technology has been brilliant. So how are sales coming? Well, you know, one of the things we said as part of our growth strategy and one of the reasons we raised, wanted to raise the money is to acquire customers, you know, you need to, one, you need to go and market yourself and your products and your services out directly. But another way to do that is to basically integrate with third, with third party platforms. One, it adds value to my platform and to my product offering so that I have a more competitive offering when I go out and compete for business. Two, um, those customers and those companies' customers are looking or always looking for tools that are compatible that are going to save them time and money in terms of in, in terms of operability. So we by doing this, we don't only make our product more competitive, but we all increase the chance that those integration partners, customers are going to start using us versus anybody else uh, when they come to us. We call it stickiness. Well, it's stickiness, it's attractiveness and stickiness. So you've got to attract them and then you've got to stick them. And so you know that certainly works as well. And of course, the third one is strategic because, you know, the more we're integrated, the more value our platform has, you know, as, 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 an, as an entity and as an asset, uh, eventually, you know, should somebody ever want to buy the company. Uh, you recently did a very successful financing, around three and a half million dollars, and you've now expanded your team. You've put more salespeople out in front, and these aren't onesie, twosie salespeople. You're selling to large multinational corporations. Well, you know, we, 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 you know, last year, you know, we, we were, um, you know, we, our objective last year was cash flow and making sure that we, we had our business going. And for a long time, we've known from customers, large corporations, and you can check our website for those testimonials that have said, look, we think you've got the best product in the market, but we were certainly not the best known. And as we all know, best technology isn't always winner in the market because you need to be known to be purchased. So, We've been saying for a while now we want to raise some decent money. Uh, now that we have money in the bank, you know, we also need to expand the number of people we have so that we can expand our business. So, yes, we've added teams, uh, people to our, particularly our sales and marketing. Uh, we've added, you know, well, an engineer to our engineering team just also primarily to help us with uh, accelerate these integrations. But most of our additions have been in the sales and marketing side. You know, we've got a dedicated team now on corporate sales to the large multinational enterprises. Uh, we've got uh, dedicated people now also into our business development and partnerships because what we're also seeing is that we're seeing an increase from people who want to actually resell and partner with us. And that's, again, a great way for us to be able to cost-effectively acquire customers because acquiring customers through advertising on Facebook and Google is expensive and makes them rich um, but doesn't always give us the return that we want. Whereas if we have other people who are basically going to spend their sales and marketing dollars to sell our product on a commission, you know, we go from having a cost of acquisition to a cost of sale. And so by doing that, we are actually hope, you know, that's, that's our strategy to accelerate and grow our business. So with these additional teams, you know, and what's really encouraging is we're seeing people coming from, you know, top tier companies. I don't want to mention any names, but the you know, top tier companies in the space you know, we're able to hire people from those sorts of companies. And you know, in fact, we just hired one from a customer of ours who, who you know, so who has been one of our biggest accounts in the past. So I think it's, you know, I'm certainly optimistic, you know, for the first time in a couple of years, we've got money in the bank. We've got a, you know, we're not on skeleton crew anymore. And, you know, we have, uh, I think, uh, every chance at, at being able to execute the strategy that, that we've had in the draw. It's now out of the draw and, you know, the troops are now marching. So I'm imagining this isn't like going to the grocery store and buying a sack of potatoes. You have a longer sales cycle, but once you have your hooks in the business, you're integrated for a very, very long time. Well, yes, and um, you know, we, you know, we, we see you know, the three legs to our, to our, our growth strategy. The e-commerce sort of small, medium business individual user, that's credit card primarily based business. 
There, our advertising spend, you know, grew significantly in the last 12 months, um, and you know that 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 is a more of a short-term sales cycle. Uh, the long cycle cycles, uh, sales cycles, as you say, are on the multinational corporations because they typically do a far more diligent assessment of the market and the players, and it's a more competitive environment. Uh, there's certainly you no know, impulse buying from the from the the enterprise clients, uh, but we're winning the, the, some of that business, and that's what we really are are seeing. But you know, it does take you know I don't know between 90 and 120 days to close that kind of business, and also our partner business is you know takes a little while because the contracts to be signed and not just credit cards to be taken. So, um, but both you know a lot of those deals have, have we've closed. Unfortunately, uh, you know the nature of the business of being a small company is that not all of those big household names, you know, want to have their names associated with us quite yet. Now, some of them have in the past, but they before they allow us to put out a press release or make an announcement that we've won their business, you know, they want a few months of experience to make sure that, you know, they made the right choice, even though they may have, have done so. Uh, you know, there is a level of credibility and comfort we need to achieve with those players post-signing them, you know, before they'll, they'll allow us to use their names. Right. So your quarterly financials are due soon, right? That's correct. So our March figures should come out in the next couple of weeks. Uh, you know, we've had we've seen a few people asking us, you know, what um, when they will be out and what they can expect uh, when they can out be out. I can give a more accurate answer than so. Yeah, our, our financials will come out in the next couple of weeks, and uh, I'm sure that after that, you know, there'll be some calls, and I'd be happy to talk to you, you know, once those are out there and and, and cover some of those points. Okay, great. Uh, always nice catching up with you, Brendan. Hope you have a great day. Enjoy that beer when you get to go out again. Yeah, I know. Hopefully you guys get to enjoy a beer on the terrace soon too. Movely Media. Trades under the symbol MVY. Have a wonderful, safe day, everybody. Signing out from Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey.